I was seven years old when I learned that I wasn't my father's only daughter. He pulled me to his side and said he had something to show me. I assumed that it was a gift. He would regularly visit me at my mother's home, bringing niceties along with his charisma and swagger. Instead, he pulled out his wallet and showed me photos of three girls before saying, These are your sisters. The oldest was 11 years my senior, the middle child was 8 years my senior, and the last was just 15 months my senior. I don't remember saying anything in response. I didn't have the words to express what I felt. Later, I learned that my father not only had three other daughters, but a wife and a dog as well. They were, from all appearances, the picture-perfect family. I felt like an outsider among my blood, a feeling that would stay with me until I was an adult. My original birth certificate indicates that my story is half-missing. I was born Morgan Simone Regis Jerkins. The Simone and Regis were officially my middle names. My mother's name is Sybil Yvonne Jerkins, but there was a blank spot where my father's name should have been. My parents weren't married. In fact, when I was conceived, their relationship had already run its course. The details as to what happened are debatable, but nevertheless, there was an omission. On paper, half of my lineage is unknown, although I've known my father my entire life. When I came into this world almost a month early, My dad took one look at me and jokingly said, that's the milkman's baby, because I was so light. I was the lightest person in my church congregation, and people would often make jokes about my skin to my mother. They'd assume that my father was white because I burned in the sun, or they'd say whatever melanin I had would be lost in the winter. I took all the jokes in stride because I knew that I was loved nevertheless. But on the inside, I was in immense pain because I knew that in many ways, my maternal and paternal families were different with regards to their own histories. My father was born and raised in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and migrated to the North to start his own medical business. Almost 40 years and 30 offices later, he's one of the most prominent doctors in South Jersey. The resemblance between my father and me allows for locals to be able to connect the dots. There were moments in Macy's or at a doctor's office when someone would regard my face and know that I was my father's daughter. The connection would momentarily reaffirm my existence, but that feeling wouldn't last very long. I was more commonly known as Morgan Jerkins in schools and among friends. It was easier to be known this way because I was already living primarily with my mother. Throughout most of my childhood, I felt more like a Jerkins because my dad and his family were an enigma to me.